What up, what up, what up? What is going on, guys? Um, in this video, I want to talk about this video, I want to talk about how to apply, like what's the one thing that can scale up your sales and increase revenue in your business. And I want to make this video super short because it's a simple concept, but um, this is something that a lot of business owners, even myself at times, I lose sight of this and it, it stalls my progress um, in a massive way which is unfortunate because this is a super a super simple concept that is like it's anyone can apply this and get results with it. So if you haven't heard of if, if I'm sure a lot of you have read the one thing by Gary Keller, this is a fantastic book. Um, if you haven't read it, like you need to read this as soon as possible. It's like it's like. 200 pages, but it's like a super simple read. It's like a fu like a fucking fifth grader could read this book. Um, and, um, you know, anyway, the, the overarching concept of that book is like, dude, you have to focus. Like you need to like think about what is the one thing that I can do right now that's going to allow me to achieve whatever the result is, right? There's there's a concept, like obviously there's like nuances, there's like little concepts that you need to like understand in the book. So that's why you should actually read it. But the overarching concept, like the main thing that you take away from this book is like, wow, there's so many people that are doing like a bunch of random things because they're trying to, like they, they identify like, uh, oh, like there's, there's all these different things that we could do to like, to, to increase results, right? But at the end of the day, if your goal is to, in any aspect of life, if your goal is to lose weight, uh, or if your goal is to, you know, increase revenue to six figures per month, um, or your goal is to have better communication with your, your significant other or whatever, whatever the desired result is, the key concept that you need to you need to apply is what is the one thing right? There's a line. What is the one thing that will allow me to achieve X, Y, Z results in the fastest, in the fastest uh, amount of, in, in the quickest amount of time or the least amount of time, right? So like what, and I'm going to get this, I'm going to, I'm going to attach this to marketing in a second here, but the question is, you know, what is the one thing I can do right now to achieve X, right? And X is whatever the desired result is. So in a business, in a business container, um, what is the one thing I can do right now to increase revenue to $200,000 per month or um, to, to bring revenue from 75K to 150K per month, right? And then since you've asked yourself that question, now you have to give yourself an answer. And there's always one thing that's the highest priority thing out of, out of a list of like 10 things you could do that is the number one priority thing. So all of your attention should go to that top priority thing, okay? Or else your, your, your energy is going to be diluted and your focus is gonna be diluted. And the quality of all of those potential implementations is going to go, going to go down, right? Um, so yeah, what is the one thing I can do right now to achieve X, Y, Z, right? To close deals faster, to um, decrease my 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 CPM on my ads. Uh, what is the one thing I can do right now to increase my my appointment show up rate from fifty percent to eighty percent, right? So. Asking yourself that question gives you the ability to answer that question and gain clarity on that top priority thing to do. And like even some of my clients and myself at times and a lot of business owners in general, like we get caught in this in this mental state of um, implementing a bunch of different things when in reality, there's this one specific thing that we need to do at one at one given time to really push the needle forward. Right. And so it's really important to step back and be like, okay, what is that one thing? And 
and how can I how can I fix that that one thing? So I'm going to bring this to a, a marketing perspective so that it applies to you specifically. Um, if you're familiar with what a, a what a marketing funnel is, you could even call it your sales process. Um, there's different steps of your sales process or your marketing funnel that we call bottlenecks, right? So if we look at, if you have a, let's say a VSL and you're running paid ads, let's say you're running Facebook ads to an opt-in page and then you are, um, you're like showing them a VSL and then let's say you have them book a call and they show up to you to a, a, a call and then your closers close the deal, right? Those are different steps of your sales process or your marketing funnel. And between each step, there's a bottleneck, right? So I'll, I'll represent these with boxes, right? So this is your paid ad, right? To an opt-in page, right? To a VSL, like a free training video, right? A, a video sales letter that they're opting in to watch. VSL to call booking, right? To them actually showing up to the appointment to close deal, right? So each step from your ad all the way to the deal getting closed, you have these different steps of your, of your sales process, right? And between each step, you have a bottleneck, right? So these are the different bottlenecks, right? And this is the this is the most tangible way for you to apply that concept of the one thing to your marketing right now, right? So a lot of times, so I, I said essentially you have a percentage of people that make it from each step to the next step. So you have a percentage here, percentage here, a percentage here, percentage here, right? So you you heard me say earlier like there's like if like one example is like if your bottleneck is like hey we have a 50% show up rate this would actually be here a 50% show up rate um, from people that a, a booked a booked a call and showed up to that call right if that's the the bottleneck that is the lowest or like the 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 performing the worst then we need to focus all of our attention on that bottleneck right so what a lot of people do is they'll go, hmm, my call show up rate, our show up rate to these calls is only 50%. We need to fix this. And then what people will do is they'll go, okay, what are all the things that we can change right now to make the call show up rate better, right? They'll go and they'll change the ads and they'll change something on, on the VSL and they'll change the opt-in page or whatever, right? And a lot of times they don't even, they don't actually change anything that has to do directly with the show up rate increasing, right? And so if they have like a 2% click through rate on their ad, let's say they're, they're paying like $2 per click, right? They're now screwing with the ads when in reality they should only be focusing on this bottleneck because everything else is working better than this part of the funnel. Right. And so long story short, when you break it down like this and you go, OK, what are the different percentages of people going from this step to this step, from this step to this step? Right. What is my opt in rate? What is the cost per click? What is the click through rate on my ads? What is the percentage of people that watch the VSL and booked a, booked an appointment? And what's my call show up rate and what's my close rate? Right. Which would be right here. OK, you want to identify which bottleneck here is the easiest to influence to increase the percentage and which one's likely which one needs to be increased to make more money on the back end right and once you identify that if it is indeed the call show up rate for example that's when you in, that's when you start to implement things like sending um more content to your your um the people that booked calls um, but between them booking the appointment and actually showing up for the call, right? Sending them more case studies, right? Having multiple people reach out to them. So it's not just one closer is, um, reaching out to them, right? Implementing different things like 
in one of my other videos, I talked about sending a selfie video to people that book an appointment, basically making it, giving a more personal touch, right? Things like this are things that you can implement on that specific bottleneck to increase the call show up rate, right? Um, and so this is kind of how you want to think of it. And this is exactly how you would implement the one thing concept to your marketing right now. And anyone watching this can apply this right now, right? If you have, even if you just do outbound, uh, like outbound messaging on Instagram to do, to like get customers, right? If you I'll actually, let me, uh, let me erase this or I can just go down here. I'll draw it out as, a, as an example, same concept, right? If you have, let's say you have a $2,000 program, let's say you're like an online coach, like one of my buddies, Ryan, has a, uh, he's an online fitness coach, right? So what he does is like the first piece is he has his VA reach out um, with like an out, outbound message, right? Or like he does, he does outbound messaging, right? So that's like what this box is. And then he has people that agree to hop on a call, right? And then he has his show up rate, like the people that actually show up to the call, like the call itself is, is the next step. And then you have people that close and cash is collected, right? If he's getting a 5% response rate and or a 5%, you know, the bottleneck here is 5% between people that, um, that he's reaching out to and people that are booking appointments. And let's say that people that book appointments, let's say 60% of them show up to the call. And let's say his close rate is 20%, right? I'd argue that the bottleneck here that we can probably influence the quickest I mean, you could, depending on the person, you could say maybe the, the close rate could be influenced better, but I'd say this 5% can be increased by improving the quality of the outbound, um, the outbound messaging strategy, right? Improving like, like sending a, a, a value driven video and then having, you know, training, like free trainings that are, that are sent out as follow-ups, right? That, that 5% is the bottleneck that I'd attack first. Because these these numbers are proficient enough, right? Where I I, I definitely say that this five percent um, response rate would be the bottleneck, right? So it's like, what is the one thing that we can do right now to turn that five percent into like fifteen percent, right? And then you write down all the things that you could potentially do, and then you do the top priority thing first, and then you go from there to 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 improve that metric. Okay, so this is kind of how you want to think of it. And um, yeah, this will simplify everything for you and give you clarity on like, what the hell should I actually be focusing on to push the needle and make more money? Um, and so yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, reach out to me on Instagram uh, at the Nick Mullen and I'll get back to you ASAP. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon.